So in Milano, we have a place called Rachel's Attic. In Rachel's Attic, we have high hopes for. We're expecting Beatles records and we're expecting them Canadian pressing. We're expecting a Queen box set. We're expecting Heinche records. We're expecting a lot out of Rachel's Attic. Wow, Rachel, your records are expensive. This Beetlejuice soundtrack is $50. Let's see what else we've got. Beach Boys, 20. Beach Boys, Beach Boys, Beach Boys. Pretty in Pink soundtrack, $38. Amy Grant, 10. Dan Fogerburp, Amy Grant. All right, okay, these these are probably getting cheaper. You would hope that Andy Williams is a dollar. Okay, at least they're not gouging us for the Andy Williams. Uh, Perry Como, lots of ringwear. Neil Sedaka, Charlie Rich. Okay, so they stuck the expensive records in front. Okay, I see what they're doing here. Yeah, Doobie Brothers, 10. Kentucky Fiddler. Olivia Newton-John, rest in peace. Amy Grant. All right. Okay, we got Elvis records. 30 bucks. And Denton not in good shape. Yeah, okay. Overpriced Elvis records. We got, we got 45s. 45s are $2 each. I'll try to show you what we have here. There's like Alabama... And oh, these, these a lot of a lot of those MCA label rainbow. These this is basically a pile of country. There's a Columbia. This is all very you know, standard common country singles that we're finding here. We're not finding anything really special here. Yeah. The Roy Orbison on Monument. That one's maybe probably the most interesting one in the bunch. Um, so there you go. Kind of singles that we found there. I'm going to take a look at Roy. Not bad. I didn't get it. All right. Looks like Rachel's going to come through here. We got a couple of Iron Maiden posters. Iron Maiden 10 years. And Iron Maiden, the Trooper. I didn't hold the camera close enough, but they're pretty expensive. Let's check out these records down here. Okay, we got a stack. Okay, I got some Foreigner head games on top. We got the Firm. We've got REO Speedwagon. Chicago. Um, there's like a Mick Jagger on the bottom. They're all like around 6 to $10.00. Um, Brian Adams, so these aren't too bad if these are what you're looking for. Hey, look, I found more 45s. They made bulls and they made coasters out of them. Oh, they, they've got some ones you can actually play on your record player as well. So I'll definitely look through these boxes. This is a record dealer's booth, so they've got a bunch of albums. We might flip through some of those as well for you. Look, I think I found Rachel's first stereo here. Zenith turntable. 
tape deck, 8-track, radio. I didn't film all the booths. Um, I found some more overpriced, like metal and country in there, and some crates that I've been over and regretted it. Found it on DMC record and it was completely scratched, but I did get some singles. So I got James Brown and Funky Now. Got a couple of uh, Funyun Cannibals, Good Thing, and She Drives Me Crazy. Herbie Hancock from 1976. Kim Wild Kids in America. That's it, we won't find anything cool at Peggy's Attic. Peggy must be Rachel's sister, but we'll give it a try. 45's on the wall. And 45's in the horrible metal rack. I don't know if they're for sale or if they're just for show here. No price on them. And at least on the wall, I don't really see any I want. Oh, there's a couple old ones in there as well. There's no prices on any of them. I guess they don't really want to sell them. It might be okay, because I don't really think I want to buy them. Okay, so I didn't end up getting anything in that last booth. The Pharaoh Sanders was completely trash. The other ones were okay, but they're very common records and didn't reach out. But here we got 45s. Let's see what we got. Oh, these look pretty. Yeah. See if I can find a gem. They're looking pretty rough. They're advertising them as wall art, and they're pretty much right. I don't want them for a wall. All right, so all these singles are $5, whether it's Elvis or Olivia Newton-John or Climax Blues Band, so they're not for me. Okay, so I bought a couple of Peggy's albums. I got this Billy Idol for $8, some ringware, but the vinyl's pretty decent. And I'm taking a chance on this Richie Delamore uh, for 3 bucks. It's Bohemian Music from 1960. And I passed on all those $5 singles you know when the olivia newton john 45s are five bucks there's no deals to be had okay so that's sort of a wrap on our visit to milano so we hit a couple of antique malls we hit rachel's attic we hit peggy's attic we found a few records in each of the places um next week we're going to go to a town full of antique stores called eddie hazelville uh some of the antique stores are out of business some of them are still open there's a folk art gallery. We might find Funkadelic records there. We might find TV theme show records there. Who knows what kind of records we're going to find in Eddie Hazelville. But let's see what's going to be up there next week.